Hey Muppet fans, you caught me updating ToughPigs.com. Uh, my name is Joe Hennis and we are going to be taking another look at yet another Muppet product. This here is from the Disney Showcase Collection. It's an Electric Mayhem musical bus. Uh, I haven't opened up this box yet. We don't know what it looks like. We don't know what it sounds like. But we're going to find out. So come on with us. Let's take a look and see if you like it. I hope you do. So this is going to be an interesting product. Um, <laughs> We had heard about this thing, uh, and we reached out to the folks at Precious Moments uh, and told them that we were kind of interested in this thing, and they were generous enough to send us a copy to take a take a look at. So uh, this is the uh, from the Disney Showcase Collection. It says Muppet Movie Electric Mayhem Bus Musical. Tune Muppet Show theme. I, I don't know how that's supposed to be read. Um, I probably butchered it, but it doesn't really matter what it says in the box. We're going to be throwing this thing away anyway. Uh, but I have not yet opened this, so this is going to be an unboxing. And we're going to see what this thing looks like. So here we go. Okay, now I'm getting styrofoam all over my nice table. Um, let's see, there's a piece of picture in here. Okay, just telling me that batteries are included. Well, that's good, because I don't have any batteries. I don't know how we would have done this without them. Let me get rid of some of this junk. Sorry, you're just listening to me narrate cleaning my apartment. Okay. Ugh. Ugh, the styrofoam. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Well, here's our batteries. That's great. They're individually wrapped. So, of course, this is going to take an extra minute to uh, to get everything out of here. Don't really know the best way to um, extract this thing. And also, don't really know what it is, so I'm afraid of breaking it. Oh, there's keep this cheap crap over it. Boy, I'm terrible at these unboxings. Okay, here we go. Here we go, you guys. We got it. What a mess. <laughs> well, I guess it wouldn't be the Electric Mayhem bus if it was squeaky clean. So, all right, here we go. There's that. Well, before we put the batteries in, let's take a look at this thing. So, uh, let's see. Definitely, uh, that's the Electric Mayhem bus, all right. And um, looks like it's on a base. It's going to move once we once we turn this thing on. There's all the characters in the bus. I, I don't have a photo of the bus in front of me, so I can't tell you how uh, uh, accurate to the movie it is. Um, but it does look like something Electric Mayhem would drive. That's nice. Uh, let's look at these characters here in the uh, in the windows. I'm going to try to do a little close-up here. Sorry for the poor lighting. Let's see. Dr. Teeth looks a little manic. Um, Fozzie looks a little spacey. Gonzo is, <laughs> is uh, kind of melting into the background. Uh, Ralph's got some flat face going on. Um, Animal, um, uh, he's scaring me in a whole new way. Uh, Miss Piggy, also flat face. Um, there's the back of the bus there. With the uh, character names from the Electric Mayhem. Sorry, Lips, you don't make it onto the bus. Um, wow, that's an interesting Kermit there. Hmm. Um, Mizzou doesn't look half bad, although maybe, uh, uh, well, maybe he does look half bad. Uh, Floyd and Janice, um, God, these, these are so interesting. I mean, obviously, and Gonzo it looks appropriately weird, uh, with his weird chicken Camilla next to him. Uh, yeah, I guess when you're going down to this small detail, it's hard to paint these characters. But man, they they're a little funky looking. Um, all right, so out here on the back, we're not we're going to be looking at the other side, so you can see the uh, the guitars here cross crisscrossing on the back, the uh, the piano on top um, to represent Doctor Teeth, and then on this side we've got the drum set and the saxophone. So that's your whole Electric Mayhem. And uh, you know we're going to see. Oh, look at that! There's an outlet there. That's how you know they're electric. With a little bit of, is that moisture? I don't know what those little drops are. That seems like a bad idea, mixing moisture in an outlet. Um, 
All right, so we're going to see how this thing works here. We're going to first, well, here, I'll prop you back up so you guys can look at this pretty thing while I talk and open up these batteries. So this is unboxing for some batteries. Let me tell you about these batteries. No, we're not going to talk about batteries. Um, well, you know, I didn't really know what to expect from this bus. I think it's, it's actually kind of cute. Nobody's going to be looking at this thing too closely. And when you do, it's kind of fun to, you know, I'm not going to say they're ugly, uh, but, uh, they're a little ugly, but you know what? Who doesn't love an ugly Muppet toy? I love ugly Muppet toys. They're some of my favorite Muppet toys are ugly. And really though, to be honest, like this thing is, uh, you know, once it's on your shelf, then, you know, nobody's going to be looking at this thing. Okay. Nobody's going to be looking that closely. All right. Battery one, battery two, battery three. Get rid of some of that styrofoam that's everywhere. My goodness, it's styrofoam. Okay. And we're going to turn you on. Wah! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's moving. What's happening? Um, yeah. It, if, the, if this bus is a rockin', don't, don't come a knockin', I guess. Um... Well, uh, I don't really know what to say about this. Um, that sure is interesting. Oh, there we go. Okay, so apparently there's two modes. One where it just moves and one where it plays the Muppet Show theme song. Alright, well that's kind of nice. I do enjoy this Muppet Show theme. A little weird that they're not playing anything by the Electric Mayhem. Uh, Nightlife would have been nice, or uh, Can You Picture That? Literally anything the Electric Mayhem has ever done. I'm a little concerned that it seems to be crashing in the back there. Oh, it's just going to keep going. Okay. I'm going to turn you off now. Uh, I don't really know what the point of that is. I wonder if it's there's some sort of motion detector. Probably not. I'm not seeing any sensors. I guess it just turns on when you want to turn it on, and you turn it off when you want to turn it off. Or you could just have it moving on its own. Maybe it's... Um, Listening to the sound of my voice. Yeah, da 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 da. All right. Well, I I'm a little uh, not so happy about the way it rocks. That mm, is a little iffy. But other than that, you know, just to have on my shelf, it's actually kind of cute. I actually don't dislike it. Um, now, haven't yet looked to see how much this thing costs. Uh, but you know what? If you see it on a shelf and you're so inclined, this could be a buy. Um, if you're the kind of person who needs to own every single Muppet thing, then, hey, you know what? This will look good on your shelf, too. Uh, if you enjoy listening to the Muppet Show theme song over and over again, then, uh, and listening to the, uh, the sounds, the dulcet sounds of the Electric Mayhem bus rocking and almost crashing back, uh, then, you know what? Hey, like, th this is for you. Yeah, you know, if not, it's honestly, it's always nice just to know that, there is more Muppet merchandise out there, whether it's something that you're going to buy or something you're just going to see on a shelf and go, well, that's interesting. I do appreciate that. We just need more Muppet stuff on the shelf. And, and I just think that's that's just great. That's just great. So um, thanks again to the folks from Precious Moments for sending this to us. Uh, let us know if you're uh, interested in buying this thing. Uh, I'm kind of interested just to hear uh, who out there is like, got to have it. Um, or... You know, if you want more like this, what are your ideas uh, for other kind of music boxes? And, um, you know, let's, uh, let's uh, have the Electric Mayhem play us out with uh, the Muppet Show theme. Thanks for watching, everybody.